Hello, this is Martin Shillington, and this particular video is all about Google Hangouts on a mobile. So let's click in Google Hangouts and begin. So I, at the moment, have got my notification snoozed. You'll see that at the bottom. I'm going to come on to that. But let's begin with clicking the lower right. And you can do several things from here. You could start a new conversation which will then lead to the option of who do you want to start it with. So you type the name, the phone number, the email, and let's say I'm going to choose Coleman. What that then does is brings up the box where I'm having a one-to-one -one conversation with that particular person. So that's the most simple sort of thing within Hangouts. If I click it again, if I go to new group, then I could choose, for instance, Carlo, I could choose Gorman, and I could choose David Amland, and so on, and that would start a group conversation as soon as I click the green arrow. If I click it again, I could choose to send an SMS to a person via the Google Hangouts app, or I could start a new video call. I click that, and the same principle there, but it would automatically start the video call. So that's how you initiate something. Now, if you've got friends that you're already chatting with, you may well click in that central bit, and you can just dive in and out just using the back button on your phone. So you've got two, two things that we've just done there. One is initiating something new, which is the, the lower right, and then you can be entering in to conversations that you're having with people that have already been started in that central section. Right then, let's now come across to the upper left. You click in there and you've got a start at the beginning. Let's go for a little drop down where you can add your account. So that's just on the next to that photo. You see, just about click it there. There you go, which is on the corner of the photo that you see. So that's the first thing. Next thing down is status. And I put connect in the dots, little smiley face. So you just click in there, brings up the option. Um, well, brings up the little, what's the typey thing called? Uh, you know what I mean, keyboard. And you can put a little smiley face or other things in there. Cancel that. Coming back, we then go to the snooze notifications. Because I was doing a video, I've snoozed it. So you can snooze them for, for instance, an hour, two hours, etc. Or you could turn it off. I'm going to keep them snooze for the moment. Otherwise, I suspect somebody's going to get in touch. Okay, now look in the at contacts, if you click in contacts, it lets you, for instance, choose somebody and then you can initiate from there. You could do a video call, hangouts message, or a voice call. Right, coming back, next one down, you've got invites. Now, if you click in that, you'll see people who have invited you to hangouts. You want to check it out. I won't click in, well, I might as well click in and show you. Uh, sometimes you get some interesting things in here, and so you want to, want to go and check that out little by little it will come see it doesn't want to show you now because it's sometimes you get some weird messages going on anyway i don't want to uh, necessarily go into that but otherwise you want to go and check them archived i'm going to come on to this when we look at a message a little more but you'll find the image uh, you find the hangout conversations that you've archived you can retrieve them as well blocked people click and then you'll see the people that you've blocked and the settings you then have you know, a few options on here, particularly if you're going to merge your SMS with your Hangouts, you would click that. Right, now, let me go through. So that, that's, that's essentially it. You can help and feedback on the lower left there. But let's go a little bit further. Let's go to my buddy, James Cowell. In the upper, in the top part, we've started this conversation. It's, it's text plus. It could be, for instance, I add in stickers or I add in a photo, for instance, there. That's the, the, that one there. It would choose if I add photos there. You can see that. And if I come across, it would be the camera. Don't need to do that. So I could take a photo and or it could be a sticker, one of those, or it could be pinpoint my location, which will open up maps. Now, what's all the, I think this is really the thing with Hangouts, is it's got, become multifaceted. And if you're just using it for text, or even just using it for voice, or just using it for, for video call, it's not the whole thing. It's got this real kind of expressiveness that's going on, and using those things really help. Now, if you go into the upper right, you'll see, so this is just in an, a, a, a Hangout, people and options. Now, you can then, if you wanted to, from there, you could block somebody. Well, let's start at the top. Notifications. If it's checked, you're going to receive notifications for it. If you uncheck it, you stop. And I think that's a really useful thing. Next one, chat, uh, chat message sound. 
If you click that, you can choose the sound that you have for the messages coming through, call, ringtone, hangout call, or you could change it based on your phone, I think that's gonna be, or you could block the person, not gonna block you, James. Right, let's click again. If you go to new group conversation, I would then be able to take that person and add them into an additional conversation like this and then click on the little green and it would start a conversation with both of those people. Okay, just gonna come back. So that then, then there, but then well, let's, let's take that further. Let's say I don't want that. I could leave it or I could archive it. Now, if I archive it, I can retrieve it later by going to the archive bit that we just saw earlier. Or if I leave, there we go, like that, it's gone. And you can't get it back. Right, let's just double check on this. So if the other aspect, so I can archive this and retrieve it later, or I could, for instance, delete this particular one. And if I delete it, it's a bit like leaving a group one. It means that you can't get it back, okay? So then it just wouldn't show in that particular list. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is a tour of Google Hangouts. I've kept it very much within this app, but notice that if you start a video call, then you're opening up and that's gonna be another experience and you're gonna get face-to-face -face with people. If you include photos, you are you know, connecting with the existing photos that you've got. You may be pinpointing your location, which is in Maps. So essentially, this is a real portal for communication with the people that you want to connect with most of all. And I can see Paul Campbell's come through here um, with a message. So I'm gonna run and take care, have fun, enjoying Hangouts, and I shall see you for the next session very soon.